Hey guys, it's me, Nora, and today is basically just a talk video, and as you can tell from the title, this is about dropping out of high school. I don't encourage it, this is not that type of video, I'm just basically telling you why I dropped out, and there is no shame if you are a dropout, like honestly, like, it happens, shit happens, man. And, you know, people will judge you, people might look at you different because of it, but it happens. And I, <laughs> you can see my shadow, I have, I'm gonna say jalapeno, are these jalapeno? No, these are just peppers, hot peppers, right? Papa John's just came. But like, this doesn't have a stem, so I, do I just like eat all of it? Mm-hmm. guys I am so sorry about this lighting anyways so back to the video which is basically dropping out like I said I am a dropout or did I say that did I not say that well I'm a dropout obviously um and I have no shame on it like I don't care that I like people ask me so many times like oh what grade are you in like oh did you finish high school and I'm honestly just so open I'm like no I actually dropped out uh, and, you know, people will just, like, judge you because of that. Like, they don't care. Like, they'll just look at you like, it's like, it's none of your business. But I'm sharing my business with you guys because, honestly, I'm not ashamed about it. It happens, you know? Like, it just wasn't your thing. You shouldn't feel ashamed about that. And I'm, I look like a hot mess right now. I shouldn't have ate those jalapenos. Damn. Oh, I learned my lesson. But, um. You really shouldn't be ashamed simply because you didn't finish high school. Now I'm done saying that. I said that like 10 times already. I just wanna make that clear because so many people feel so judged about that. And my opinion, if you don't agree, then that's all, that's all on you. You shouldn't feel ashamed about dropping out. I stick to that 100. But I do think it's very, very important for you to still at least finish somewhat of an education. like. If you don't think high school is your thing, then that's that's okay. That happens, man. I mean, go for your GED. Go to an alternative school. It's just like, don't just drop out and do nothing because you really do need some type of paper to fit in anywhere for any type of job. But yeah, seriously, you do still need to finish your education somehow, some way. So like I said, alternative, GED, like online school, uh, homeschooling. There you go. I am taking my GED. So, uh... If high school is not your thing, then that's okay. High school was not my thing, and I'm telling you the reasons right now. Uh, <laughs> uh, well, for one thing, I got held back twice. Two times. Basically, I was in kindergarten, and I didn't pass kindergarten. No, I'm not that stupid. Just saying. Uh, no, basically what happened to me in kindergarten is... My family is not from this country. They are from a different, you know, different country, Nicaragua. Am I saying that right? Nicaragua. I'm white. They didn't teach me Spanish. So in the house, they basically spoke Spanish. That's all they really spoke. You know, that's, you know, their, their uh, first language. So that's what they spoke. And, you know, I'm in America. I live in Florida, South Florida. And, you know, we speak English here in schools. So, yeah, you know, like, I'm in home, at the house, I'm basically hearing Spanish everywhere. In school, I have to learn English. And I was spoiled. I was the firstborn because my mom still lives with her parents back then. So, I was very spoiled. I didn't have to say anything, guys. Like, if I wanted some chocolate milk, I would just point at a bottle and take out the milk and be like, <laughs> right now. I want it. I want it right now. <laughs> Just kidding. Well, I was kind of like that. It's, that's at least what I'm told. I was that spoiled. But yeah, so everything was just handed to me as a child. Yeah, uh, after, you know, 
not talking, not having to talk really. I didn't know my ABCs and I feel like that's the only thing you really need to learn in kindergarten is your ABCs and that's pretty much it. Um, but you know, like I said, you know, in the house I was spoiled, they spoke Spanish, in school I had to learn English, I needed to know. It's very hard, for especially for a little kid, so I failed. Uh, I got held back. No, no biggie, no problem. And yeah, that's the whole reason why I got held back in kindergarten. Now, number two, uh, I got held back in seventh grade. Seventh grade, I was just being a, a badass kid, like basically that's end of story. Uh, I was in, it was a hard time in my life back then, like, like I don't, it, it was just, I'm not gonna explain what was going on with me back then, uh, but I was just going through some tough times, like tough. So yeah, that's what happened. I'm so sorry for this red shade. Hold on one second. Better? Yes. <laughs> it was just a hard time in my life and I just really wasn't feeling it. To be honest, I was skipping school. I was doing drugs. I was, <sighs> I was just a really mess. I was like cutting myself. It was just so bad for me back then. And I'm glad I'm over that phase. I'm glad that life's better now. But yeah, I just, school was the last thing in my mind. Like I didn't care about school. So I got held back. And after getting held back, I, you know, I realized like, Holy shit, I'm two years older than the kids I'm surrounded with. Uh, and after that, I just, you know, got my shit straight and I finished seventh and went to eighth. And then high school, ninth grade. And guys, let me tell you, during all of those school years, like, which is five, I want to say, I went to different schools. I went to five different schools. So, Meeting friends and being open was very difficult for me. Like, you know, like try going to five different schools, having to try all over again. It sucks, it does. And then ninth grade came, but ninth grade was a lot better for me simply because I had my old friends back. Uh, you know, the people I knew in middle school went to this high school, so I was, you know, reunited with my friends. So ninth grade was easy, 10th grade came, I moved, different school. And I hated it guys, I was alone, I was stuck with kids younger than me, I was, I was just sad, like it's, it's not easy, it, it wasn't easy for me, but you know, I was kind of okay with it, it was like, I don't care about me making friends, I just need to finish my stuff, I need to get out of here, yada yada. And you know. I had acquaintances, I did, but it just, it sucked. Like, high school is, what people say is basically high school is supposed to be like the best years of your life. You're supposed to remember all the things you do, all the good things, all the stupid things. Yeah. Uh, I just wasn't in that. Like, I wasn't in that type of area. I was just there, basically. High school, I was just there. I went there, did my stuff, went home. That was my life. And I was miserable. Like, I did have friends. I was by myself. Uh, the work was kind of difficult for me. Like, you know, I was just alone. And it does suck being alone. Especially when there's so many people around you and you feel alone. Like, that's a problem. Uh, so, I told my mom. Basically how it all started was I told my mom, like, I would like to go, I would like to be homeschooled. That's what I told her. I would like to be homeschooled and she said no. And you know, I was just like, oh, okay, fine, whatever. Uh, and then, you know, I kept on asking her, can I be homeschooled, can I be homeschooled? She just wasn't up for it. Like at the end, it was like in March, I was like, I'm, I'm done with this. I'm, I'm done with this. I just, I hate this school. I hate being in school. I, I'm done. So, <clears throat> We, basically, she took me out. And I know a lot of people are probably like, why would she do that, yada, yada, yada. Um, guys, I was almost 18. I'm 18 now, but I was almost 18, so I only had like th three, four months left at school, and you guys are probably like, well, that's fucking stupid for you to quit. I was 
a sophomore so I mean either way I was gonna drop out like even like in the summer I was gonna drop out when I was 18 or you know it it, it didn't really matter <laughs> honestly like those three months weren't gonna do me anything if I was gonna drop out in junior like you know so there was just like no point of just keeping me there and uh, my mom to be honest uh, she obviously wasn't happy with it and my mom thinks I'm a failure. Yeah. It sucks to like say it out loud. But you know, she does. I know she does. I mean, she probably wouldn't agree. Like, she probably wouldn't like admit to it. But I know she thinks I'm a failure. Uh, Cause I have a little brother. And honestly, I think like, my mom always says she didn't have favorites. But I think she is like more uh more trying to be more connected to him now because you know she doesn't want him to be a dropout too and he's younger than me and it sucks guys it does and that's why i'm sharing with you because if you have younger siblings and you dropped out you might end up in the same situation as me i'm at least trying to get my gd so <laughs> so yeah uh that's basically it and um no, I don't know what I want to do with myself in the future. Uh, I might go to college, yeah, community college. That's pretty much it. Like, I mean, I'm still trying to get my GED. Like, there's, when I take my GED, I go to a middle school, which is funny because it's the same middle school I used to go to. And, uh, yeah, I just go in there, I grab a book and i sit down and i just do my work it's like you just you're just relearning everything you did that's it and uh excuse my language but i suck at math after math i know i'm gonna do so much better because i had higher scores in language and reading so i'm excited for that i'm so excited uh and um guys like i said don't feel ashamed because you dropped out of high school like you know it's probably gonna be hard for you and your family you know, there might get, people are going to think different of you. Just, you have to face that right now. And you just have to know that it's none of their business. Like, this is you. If you're unhappy with where you are in high school, like, you know, there are other things you could, you can do, okay? Because if you're miserable in high school, you're probably not going to care about your grades. You're probably not going to care about going there. You're probably just, like, going to be like, this I'm not gonna do it anymore I'm not gonna do anything which isn't the case like I'm agreeing like if you don't want to go to high school you don't have to but you do need an education and there are ways to finish that so yeah and I can't tell you how many people I actually reunited with in high school I mean eh, in my GED like and it's funny because it's a lot of people that I know, I knew from middle school that I now see. I'm just like, wow. Uh, that's pretty much it, guys. Uh, this is a long video. <laughs> and I'm sorry I've been gone. Please, guys, like, comment, subscribe. And again, I'm so sorry for this lighting. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm done talking now. I talk a lot. So... I'll come back with another video.